single arm kettlebell swing. To get yourself set up, you're gonna step directly over the bell. See this way. You're stepping here. From here, you take one step back. So I'm gonna go back over here. I'm standing over the bell. I'm taking one step back. This is roughly how far apart from the bell you will start. To determine how far apart your feet are, you can think about doing three jumps, and that's roughly how far apart your feet will be. If you need to go a little bit wider to feel comfortable, that's okay, but it's going to be roughly this far apart. So we have our feet. When you go down, think of pushing your hips back as you reach forward for the bell. You want to load your hamstrings, load your glutes. We're staying tight. Our shoulder is packed in and tight. From this position, you have your hips, your hamstrings and your glutes loaded, your shoulder is packed. From here, we will snap it, or excuse me, hike it back and snap it forward. Over here, hike it back, snap it forward. You want to think of hinging at the hips. Hinging at the hips as opposed to squatting that way. This is a hinge. Common mistakes. People will squat. And if you notice the bell's coming lower, what we want to do is keep that bell above our knees. That will help keep it a hinge. Here, bell stays above the knees. Other coaching cues that help, so you can think about putting the bottom of the bell to the wall behind you. The other, the other thing you can think about is chest to the ground. Bottom of the bell to the wall, chest to the ground. The last mistake that I see a lot is people leaning back. We want to avoid leaning back because that can put stress on our lower back. So as we snap it forward, we're stopping straight up and down. 